Assembly Republicans said today that Democrats are misinterpreting last month's election. If they'd only deal with the economy, then they'd meet the needs of the voters. But if they spend their time increasing regulation on business, thinking about more taxes, and placing mandates on the private sector, they're heading backwards. Case in point, so-called ban-the-box legislation approved by the Assembly Labor Committee this morning. Currently, a job applicant with a criminal or arrest record has to check a box on the application indicating so. The bill would delay that until the applicant was actually offered a job, giving those with a record a chance to sell themselves first. You may have made some sort of mistake in your life, and it does not necessarily mean you were incarcerated. You could have been a 19-year-old college student from Princeton who went out one night and smoked marijuana and got caught. You still have to check that box for the rest of your life. Once I've checked that box, which has happened in my personal experiences, I never get a call back, or when I leave, I know that the application goes in the garbage. We say we believe in work and responsibility and paying taxes and carrying your load and contributing to society. But once people have paid their debt to society, they encounter this labyrinth, if you will, of exclusion. But business organizations testified their members want flexibility when it comes to hiring, not another mandate that comes with paperwork and fines for violations. Many of our members offer home delivery services and they offer child care learning centers in their stores. Uh, this bill, uh, making it harder to do those, those background checks at the appropriate time for those types of applicants, is a huge security concern. The narrative here was that Democrats are up to their old anti-business tricks. The competing narrative was that ex-offenders need jobs or they'll revert to crime. Allow me to step into that room and sell myself, put on my suit and tie, look that employer in the face, give him a firm handshake, look him in the eye and let him know I'll be an asset to your company. It's this compounded on one thing after another, the minimum wage increase, the paid sick leave proposal, the Affordable Care Act, and now we have this initiative. I understand the concept that we want to allow people who've been convicted of crimes to have a second chance. All of us agree with that, but this bill is a disaster. Bend the box! Bend the box! Bend the box! At the State House, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.